creepy lips because it's like you're looking down looking down at it and then two more um and they are equal with this one so it's like the same plane as these and just connect that from here to here so and then this one is off to the side over here and honestly honestly it should be intersecting this leaf which I really probably am not going to depict as well as I should but let's draw this ellipse kind of like this and this one yeah, I didn't make it as long as I should have, to be honest with you, but we'll just work with what we have. So, point this here, and it's gonna reach back into that cylinder here. And we're gonna have a round shape, because it's kind of like a tube like this um i think it could be better good to hear is at least decent oh yeah dude I, I mean i think it's decent i think um maybe um you like your line work honestly i it's it's really good i think the only thing that might be improved is the um the like structure and underneath it like a little bit but that I mean overall it's like that that's some really good line where you have going on there like that's honestly a, a skill I don't know how people just have great line work and didn't work really really I don't know did you did you work really really hard at getting your line work to be really clean cuz like I guess I'm just so like I'm a, I just have a messy brain <laughs> So my line work is also very messy. <laughs> um, I guess, I don't really know how that works. I mean, I think I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better, but it's still like not, you know, clean, clean, like clean call, you know. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five stems, and the last stem is basically behind this one. So I'm going, oh, it's like directly behind it. So I'm really just going to create the ellipse and then suggest the line going back. Like it's kind of like right next to it. So kind of like that. So now we have six different flower heads that are coming out of this one central point that connects them all. So let's flesh out this point a little bit here. So it's kind of like that. And it's coming down from this vine. And connecting here. Um, yeah, it's not great, but I think that'll, that'll work for now. Um, I think it comes from doing it for a while and patience, which I don't have a lot of when I'm doing a piece. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't it done yet? Oh, I know what you mean. The structural issues I definitely see, it comes from starting late and rushing like I'm only just sketching today's <laughs> but you know I think it's actually really great that you're doing it at all you know what I mean um, I think that getting started doing anything is a lot better than just thinking of thinking about it and, and not ever getting started <laughs> sorry I have like hiccups <sighs> I hate hiccups Randy M15 
My cocaine lines deserve a mention. Randy, shout out to your cocaine lines, buddy. May you take them well. <laughs> I did my cocaine lines today too, man. Yeah. I, I, I did, I did. <laughs> I consider drawing lines like doing cocaine. Um, Alright, so each one of these flowers has a little... So this is this is the, just the stem. So then, from each stem, there's the flower, which is about... Hmm, it's almost the same length, total, from the tip of the flower to the whatever the fuck you call this, the connection point to the stem thing. But if you just look at the stem to the, I mean, I'm sorry, the stem to the flower top, it's like two to three. So the ratio, it's like two thirds of this equals the flower tip, the flower top. And then the, I'm sorry, the flower, you know, I really don't have a word for what the fuck I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna draw it. But Basically, I'm just going to extend the line out about two-thirds of the way of the stem. And then kind of create this little tube structure. I'm going to end it with the ellipse down here. And this is basically a tube. here to here, the same concept, so I just take two-thirds of this, which is honestly like up here, and start with the ellipse up here, which I think would be kind of like facing up, so... Kind of a thicker ellipse, but not too thick. And then draw in the little tubes. <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> So this one is going backwards, so it's like, it's foreshortened and it's in the back and it's facing this way. So it's just a short line basically. And you really can't see the tube that much, but I'll suggest it a tiny bit. And make the top, it's basically a circle where the ellipse would be. And hopefully we can express that one the way it's supposed to be um, when we flush in the petals. And this one is gonna be, again, another two thirds of the total length of the stem up here. So 
here. Something like that. Pretty thin ellipse. Do want to depict the the tube shape? And there's this thing behind it, but it's it's very very hidden. So honestly, it's going to be a very strong. Ellipse. And then this one. Gonna be a bit of a thicker ellipse. Draw in the the rounded tube shape, which is in all the other ones. And okay, so that is the basic structure of the flower head. And then there's some leaves on top of that as well, but um, we can get to that in a second. Um, nice, Cozy Sue, enjoy. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna clean up this part first and then uh, insert the, the petals of the flowers. So I'm gonna start with making the ellipses up the strands here. And this is honestly um I guess I'll just cheap out and just kind of cheat that one. Show it coming up here. sort of draw the, there's like a little leaf section at, at each one of these flower tips. Um, and this one really shows it pretty well, so let's just try, attempt to start from here. but it did it worked I guess this one's gonna be four petals going out that was the five minute break timer if anyone is following with the Pomodoro this is your break moment break momento and I'm 
just gonna finish this part up here. 